Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. So yield farming has opened up for business on MinSwap. In this video, I will take you through the process, how to get involved with MinSwap, whether you came from the LBE or whether you're coming in fresh to provide liquidity and start yield farming there. A few other bits that are important to keep in mind, I will cover them. Timestamps below as normal. If you think others can benefit, please do share it out there. Give the video a like and comment below if it's a question or even just for the algorithm to help get the video out. I appreciate it. Let's jump into it. Okay, so before we jump into the decks, I've done two videos on this type of thing before. So one where I went through the MinSwap decks, how to use it. So I'll link that one down below. I'll be touching on some of the features here anyway. And also a video on yield farming, staking versus providing liquidity versus yield farming to give people an idea of the risks, rewards, and everything they need to take into account when getting involved in something like this. So I'll link both of them down below. So as well on the LBE, if you got involved in the LBE and you followed the other videos I've done, you needed to convert your per ADA to LP tokens. If you didn't do that, what MinSwap have actually decided to do, the deadline passed, but there was still 300,000 per ADA that hadn't been converted. So what they done was airdropped the LP tokens to them wallets, with them wallets, so because they didn't do the conversion themselves, they don't get the bonus, the bonus multiplier for the first seven days of yield farming, which all of us got when we done the swap ourselves. So how to get involved then? So when you come in here, you go over to farm and what you will see on farm. So you can see up here during the first 24 hours. So we've 24 hours to provide liquidity before the farms start actually earning funds. So they will start counting rewards will start counting from March 16th at 7 a.m. UTC. So these are the different farms that you can get involved in. Each of them gives different rates. Right now, the APR, we can't see that because until things start earning tomorrow, they're not showing what the APRs are going to be. I did find this sheet going around in Discord, this screenshot of someone working out what they thought the APRs would be based on the different TVL and the different pairs, also what, how much min is going to be available. So I have recreated it because I'm not sure where this came from originally. I've recreated this roughly in Excel for myself. And you can see here, I have the top pairs. So the TVL, I've matched this up with the current total value locked. So this is how much is in each of them pairs. What I think will be staked from them, how many min is going to be there as rewards per day and then the actual percentages. These are rough. These don't include the bonus for the first seven days or anything. These are just to give a ballpark to see whether I think it's worth going in for myself or for you guys as well. So in terms of this, there's 2000 min going to be up for rewards every single day. So as this goes on, you do need to keep in mind that that's a lot of new tokens coming into circulation every day. So that will play a factor in circulating supply. And we'll look at things like that in a different video as well, looking into tokenomics and how you should be reading these things and just things to be aware of with this type of distribution. So right now, things are good for us. We're going to get some fairly decent rewards over the first while when yield farming here. So eight in, there's 38.4 million TVL right now. I've put it in that I think 55% of that will be staked because obviously the more that's staked, the less rewards people are going to get. But with this, during the LBE, the way it worked was there was 25 million ADA put in and there was 100 million min put in from the team. So the team then got half of this and they're not going to be using that for yield farming. So that means that half of, back to Excel, half of the TVL here, or maybe a bit less than half now because people have come in and provided liquidity that weren't involved in the LBE, just a bit over half of that will probably go into yield farming. So there's 1 million min per day. And with all of that, I'm looking at in around 300% APR if these numbers start to play out, which isn't bad at all. Then you take into account the bonus NFT that we got, the multiplier, and you put that on top, and then you will have an even better rate than that for the first seven days. Now the bonus only counts for the ADA min pair, but there's some other pairs in there that look fairly decent as well, looking at these numbers. So they get less min per day, but then obviously there's less TVL there as well. Things like Pavia, potentially up towards 500%, 450 to 500%. Dana also looking fairly good if these calculations come out right. And on this, what I've done is I've said, I expect about 90% of the TVL to go into yield farming. So then as you go up there, 
Meld, still over 300% is nice. The LQ pair, again, in around 300 and World Mobile, just slightly below 300%. So again, will depend on what TVL gets converted into, providing liquidity on this, and that will determine what the rate is. So now into actually providing liquidity or providing, get involved in yield farming. So when you come in here, you can see the different pairs. All you have to do, very simple, click on stake. It let, asks you how much of your LP tokens you want to put in. I want to put in 100% of this account here. Click on stake. And then it should give you a pop-up in whatever wallet you're using. I'm waiting for CC Vault here. And you can see on CC Vault, what it's doing is sending the LP tokens and it's also sending the NFT that I got for being a part of the LBE because that's what's going to determine the bonus you get. So if I put in the password here then, click on sign. And that transaction has been submitted there. So it should only take a minute or two. And when it goes through and gets verified, you will see here, it will show you how much you have staked. And when you hover over the eye, you'll be able to see the bonus that you have on that pair then. So just for anyone who hasn't provided liquidity before and wants to provide liquidity to get involved in this, just go into pool, pick the pair you want. So if it's the ADA min pair, ADA WMT, whatever you want to do, click on, you can click on the pair or you can click on add liquidity. The other thing you can do as well is go to zap. So if you only have one pair, so say I have ADA here, I wanted to put in 50 ADA, click on the LP I want to put in. So I want to get involved in, I seen ADA Pavia looks fairly decent in my calculations, not saying people should get into it or anything like that, but ADA Pavia, what this function here would do would be sell 25, it would sell half of the ADA and convert that to Pavia and then give me back LP tokens for ADA Pavia then I could use them to go through the same process we just done for getting involved in yield farming then. So back on pool, it's the same thing. If you want to do just any normal pair, add a min, add liquidity, put in, say I wanted to put in 100 min or 100 ADA, and then the second token, it should auto calculate this, but because I don't have any min in this, actually it did calculate it, 320 min I would need, but I don't have that in this account. You need to have both sides. If you don't, you can use Zap. So let's just take a look at farm and you can see already it has been converted there. You can see 49,000 staked and on this bonus booster rate here, this account would have 190%, which is very nice. Now that is only for the first seven days, what a very nice bonus to get for being involved in the LBE. So something else that people have been asking about is Mint T tokens. So actually I'll show you the screenshot first. I took this from the Discord today. So people asking about Mint T, it starts on April 14th. There will be more details of that coming up fairly soon as well, I would say. And clarifications as well, the NFT, the LBE NFT is applied automatically, as you've seen when I went through the process there. And then the booster is only for the min ADA pair. So then on Mint T, that's going to open up on April 14th. There will be vesting schedules and locking periods. You can see here 45 days mentioned. I'm not going to get into that because we're still a month out from that, but I will cover that fairly soon as well. Any questions, anything I've missed in this, please do let me know. Again, you can provide liquidity or you can provide, get into yield farming for any of these pairs here once you have already provided liquidity. Thanks for watching guys, I do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, share this out there if others can benefit and let me know questions down below. I'll talk to you soon.